Hi. Quit your cult part three. I don't even know what I'm gonna say today. I know I'm in a really privileged position. <laughs> Last summer, I moved out of my little community household to move with my mom. So we have a house out on the outskirts of town with my family, wife and daughter, quarantined up. Um, so I have space. One of the things that helps you create space is to have space. It's hard to quit something if you live with it. Really, really hard. Especially if that thing has some kind of power over you, which it almost always does. Because if it didn't, you would probably have more space. There's all kinds of power like that. There's financial, there's physical power. Which is to say, patriarchy, normal, normally. At some point I want to talk about patriarchy as a cult, but I'm not going to force shit. If this is a one minute video, it might be. So, one of the things I notice is this morning I took my first Quit Your Cult video and I sent it to a lot of people. And I have an awareness that this phrase or this video might get back to, or very likely in some way, we'll get back to people that I would live with for a long time. It's very hard to explain that I don't have any personal vendetta. I do, I really don't. I have gratitude for building me up as I am for giving me the skills that I'm even talking to you right now in this way, for keeping me safe for a long time. And I believe that in the true spirit of following God's will and realization that we have to make decisions that are following our gut don't always work out very well but you know what that is a human's prerogative we can fuck it up if we want to <laughs> that's how big God's benevolence is it loves you in all of the ways that you are entrenched and self-destructive <laughs> you know you do your best. We all do our best. It's a very, 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 very giant love. So, this morning I got up and I hosted some people for a brief meditation. One of the things that I heard a lot from the leadership in the community I just left I just left a community, very intense community, was, you know, a, sort of a negative judgment of people who left the community in a way that was sort of like, you know, they're just gonna go out and recreate what we're already doing. And I'm kind of like, you know, of course, because the stuff that the community was doing was good. Getting people together, becoming sustainable, communication, telling the truth, all that stuff. It's all good. Of course it's good. So yeah, I get out of the community and what I do, what do I do? I, I uh, offer meditation, not for my, just for myself, but for others. And I offer a period where people can come and t tell the truth about their lives. Of course. Of course we need each other. And of course we need to talk. And even when this thing inside me says like, well, you know, if you put this out there, quit your cult, people are gonna be like, no, 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 no. And it's like, well, yeah, they're gonna be like, no, 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 no. So you know what, I gotta do it anyway, and I'm safe. 
I don't even have to see the people. And there's no judgment about what somebody needs. People need different things at different times. So, getting through today, the world is changing. Can you hear me? It's very windy. That's all I have to say today. It's, it's, it's a good day. If there's any goal today, it would be to get through it. That's your goal, get through it. I love you, bye.